bachelor be the tool of Inverness And the lack of female company had got him quite depressed Till one day in a shop displaying strange exotic wares He saw a thing that seemed to be the answer to his prayers Oh, their minds are bubbling now Aye, but they're listening, boy. Well, it was made from purest latex with a warm and lifelike feel. In a dark room, you could close your eyes and imagine it was real. It came complete with nylon hair and breasts like driven snow. And a sensuous wide open mouth that never would say. <laughs> no. Took her home and blew her up without the least delay But when he saw what he had bought his joy turned to dismay For the breasts were there, the perfect pair, but he couldn't understand How down below the waist his woman looked more like a man Well that's not very funny by the way, let me tell you Highly embarrassing Well you better believe it So he ran to that little shop and he barred straight inside Well are you trying to make a fool of me or take me for a night? Very unfortunate choice of words, that's all that was The guy looked once and then replied with a snigger and a hoot Well you've blown her up too bloody hard, you've turned her inside out He took her to his bedroom, he laid her on the bed Well, he kissed her on the cheek so pale and on the lips so red He got himself into a state of wild ecstatic bliss Ho ho ho! When from his dumb companion came a loud and sudden <laughs> well, she shot out from the bedclothes and she flew towards the door She battered off the ceiling and rebounded from the floor She went three times round the chest, the drawers and twice around the light Then through an open window disappeared into the night Try explaining that one to your next door neighbour, eh? I don't know, I mean, just a flying visit would cover it, you know? <laughs> well, I was, about, um, I was doing really well and then, ha, she went down on me. No, 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 no. no, no, no. Need a puncture of pain outfit for that, right enough. Need a deluxe model for that. <laughs> Now at a place called Jodoro, back the astronomer in chief He was staring through his telescope in wide-eyed disbelief He then went spare and tore his hair and screaming from the room When he thought he'd seen a naked woman orbiting the moon <laughs> So the conclusion to this tragic tale I'll tell you in a trice For the sudden lack of pressure meter grip him like a vice Which would explain the look of pain and horror on his face As part of his anatomy flew with her into space <laughs> Come on now Mind you, we have a good authority for NASA, that could have been the first shuttlecock. <laughs> Seemingly you're not allowed to play badminton in spacesuits, okay? <laughs> Poor Willie's got religion, now he preaches in the cup. And he tells his tale to illustrate the hand of God at work. 
For it's written in the holy book of that there is no doubt That if thine eye offend thee it will surely be plucked out